a rider taps on the app when they want to take a car somewhere and then a nearby driver is alerted of that rider and then goes and picks them up. So simple idea, but for us it will give us an opportunity to merge our pass server cloud storage skills with maps and GPS, which are perhaps the two most powerful aspects of mobile apps working together. So it should be a lot of fun and we're going to start over on AWS creating a new EC2 instance for our pass server code. So if you missed that, go to aws.amazon.com where we went before for Instagram and we're just going to follow that process again. If you really don't want to go through the process again, you can use the same pass server setup as before, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's easier to keep different instances and apps separate and will cause less confusion in the long term. So here we go, we're logging into AWS and then we'll jump over to EC2. Remember it's in the services drop down as well, either over there or over there. And then as before, we want to launch a new EC2 instance. So click the big blue launch instance button and then down to AWS Marketplace, search for pass and select pass server powered by Bitnami. Make sure you choose the T2 micro instance to avoid any charges and then click launch. I'm going to create a new key pair and this is going to be Uber Android key pair. Download that and then launch instance. And that's now in the process of setting up. So while that's doing that, let's jump over and download our pass project. So Android dev course.com slash pass project dot zip. So we'll open that up. And then when that's downloaded, we can see we've got it there on the desktop. So I'm now going to open that up in Android Studio and get it ready to change our new pass server settings. Actually, I will just rename the folder to Uber and then we're looking in users Rob Percival desktop and there it is. Okay. So while that's opening up, back over to Firefox and our EC2 management console. And now we want to connect to our new instance. As before, we'll use our Java SSH client and the key path. Remember, if you're in Windows, it will be wherever you saved it. If you're in Mac, it'll be something like slash users slash and then your username. And then wherever you saved it. So for me, it was the desktop. And then just to remind myself, I called it Uber Android key pair dot PEM. There we go. And I definitely don't want to type that in next time. So I'll store it in the browser cache. And then launch SSH client and off we go. And here we go. So now we're logged into the server via SSH or secure shell. So we start by changing directory using CD to apps slash pass slash htdocs, which is where the pass files are stored. And then we use VI to open up the Vim text editor and we want to edit the file server.js because that has all our server settings in it. And here we go. So I'll start by copying the app ID And then back over to Android Studio. Here's our Uber app. So we'll open up the project Java starter application and then our new application ID goes in there. Next, the client key, which is the same as the master key. So copy that. 
there we go and then the server is that long URL there don't forget the slash at the end all right so we'll run that on our Nexus device and while it's running we'll jump back over to Firefox and enter the URL again so that we can view the data browser which is exactly the same URL but instead of pass it has apps on the end and here we go so here's our data browser tap on there so we haven't got anything in there yet but when our app is up and running which it should be soon ah now we do have a small issue here I think that was worth leaving in what's happened here this is failed because of invalid session tokens what's going on is that the past data project is recognized as the same app as the Instagram project that we had before so it's trying to log on as the previous user but because we've got a new pass installation that's not working so what I'd recommend doing is between apps if you're using the same simulator just delete the app by dragging it to uninstall and then reinstall it again via Android Studio and that will get rid of the nasty invalid session token error all right let's have a look and there we go much better pass result successful and just to confirm let's jump back over to Firefox and refresh the page and we should now see not only a user but also the example object and there we go All right, so now we're set up to use Pass once again for our Uber app. Let's go on to the next video where we're going to be creating our Pass anonymous login.